For many of us, Easter weekend is a time to spend with family and dear friends, and that often involves a big meal. And thanks to dozens of volunteers, Victoria's street community enjoyed a special Easter feast too. Here's V. Cooper. And initially, if they want seconds, they need to get up, go back in the line and come in again. It's the calm before the storm of Easter dinner at Our Place, an outreach center for the street community in downtown Victoria. The volunteers are getting their final instructions. We serve and clean the one table, and then they'll let in another room to replenish that table. I knew even before I retired in July of 07 that this is the place that I wanted to come because great work was being done here. More than 200 volunteers ensure that our place runs smoothly, serving up to 1,500 nutritious meals every day. Eddie, you think I'm camera shy or something? Not you, I know better. Taking time out to give back can be very moving to the volunteers. It's going to make you feel good. It does. It uh, brings everybody, you know, the homeless, the, um, the working poor such as myself and many others, and, you know, people who just basically can't afford, you know, uh, to go out at a meal. They must be two each because it's such a long table. We are very, very much a volunteer-oriented city. It's hardly even necessary to recruit, to go out into the community and recruit, because people just come through the door and say, tell me what I can do. So what you're seeing now is our beautiful kitchen. Our place opened its doors in the spring of 2008. We're moving into the residence uh, area, which I'm just so excited about. A huge driving force behind its construction was Reverend Al Tissick. After more than 20 years at the helm, Reverend Al Tissick retired in March. The new executive director of Our Place agrees he's got big shoes to fill. It's going to be hard to fill those shoes and I'll just have to build on everything that he's done here and, uh, and just go from there. And after volunteering for many years on the streets of Vancouver's downtown east side, Don Evans is well qualified. I, I guess I feel that, that uh, I could easily be there. You know, I, I've come from foster care and, and uh, um, have had my own struggles in life. And, you know, as I've spent most of my life in business and uh, in the corporate sector, um, but I've always been drawn to, to the social justice and I have a real passion for that. So I, I feel that that's where I need to be. It's about connecting with them, building relationships, and, uh, and then just trying to, you know, meet them where they're at and, and help them with their current situations and moving them forward. You've been in this before. With the help of caring, compassionate volunteers. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.